Well, it was one month ago today that President Trump claimed that his phones were tapped last year on orders of President Obama. Since then, White House officials have been searching for evidence to back him up. And they've latched on to the fact that U.S. intelligence routinely listens to the calls of foreign officials. It appears that after the election, some Trump advisors were on the other end of those calls, as you would expect. The White House suggests there is something sinister in that surveillance, and today a former top Obama official said it is just standard procedure. Here's Chip Reed. I leaked nothing to nobody and never have and never would. But Former National Security Advisor that. Susan Rice denied that she publicly revealed the identities of Trump associates picked up during surveillance of foreign targets. There's no equivalence between so-called unmasking and leaking. The, the effort to ask for the identity of American citizen is necessary to understand the importance of an intelligence report in some instances. U.S. citizens' identities are hidden or masked in intelligence reports gathered on foreign targets. Several White House officials have the power to request the unmasking of those anonymous people if they feel it will help them understand the intercepted communications. White House spokesman Sean Spicer today questioned whether Rice's motivation was political. It depends on the purpose of why they were asking and what they were trying to accomplish. Rice said she requested the names only to understand why they appeared in intelligence reports. The allegation is that somehow uh, Obama administration officials uh, utilized intelligence for political purposes. That's absolutely false. Retired General Michael Hayden ran the CIA and NSA during the George W. Bush era. The process that has described is perfectly normal and on its face does not in any way constitute a smoking gun. I have no idea about her motivation. Congressman Adam Schiff is the top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee, which is investigating ties between Russia and the Trump administration. I think the suggestions that uh, this is some kind of a partisan exercise that was targeting Donald Trump uh, are designed to distract us from the Russia investigation and not much more than that. Another Democrat on the Intelligence Committee, Joaquin Castro of Texas, said today that he thinks people will probably go to jail as a result of the Russia investigation. But, Scott, the White House continues to deny any improper connection to Russia or its attempts to interfere in the U.S. election. Chip Reed in our Washington newsroom. Chip, thank you.